and welcome to the Canvas Fast Track. In this three-minute video, we'll discuss the traditional and non-traditional approaches to the flipped classroom and how, by tweaking a couple of things or a lot of things, can free up time in class to now mentor, coach, and guide your students in their learning experience rather than continue with the teacher-led direct instruction. So the idea of flipping your class is scary, overwhelming, and it truly feels like first-year teaching all over again. So where do you start? Start small with one lesson from one unit that you will introduce a month into the school year or late in the spring. The hardest part about trying these new things is that you want it all done immediately and you want the results right away. We blame that on the instant gratification culture that's emerged in the last 10 years. Know that this is going to be a slightly new approach for your students and parents and know that it may not be 100% successful the first time. This is where understanding by design principles and even the scientific method can help as a great planning tool or roadmap for what you want to flip. Think about your content and why it is important. What is it that students need to know to move forward in their thinking, or what idea needs to be planted in their head to spark and drive interest in the subject area and have them start asking bigger questions? Let's take a really fun end of the year elementary activity on physical versus chemical reactions. Mentos and Diet Coke. Everyone loves the sticky science experiment, so flip this lesson by sharing with students about information on physical and chemical changes and how to classify them. Open up a discussion to go with the video or slide deck that you're sharing and ask students to come up with items that fall into each category. Once you've designed a lesson that will be delivered as homework and the activity that will now be delivered in as class content, you need to decide when is the best time to have students engage with the flipped content. Also, keep in mind that the attention span of your students is short. There is a rule of thumb that it's age plus one. So if I teach third grade, a 10 minute video and activity is the most I can expect for their attention. A communication plan with parents and students about flipping lessons is very important. It's something new and they need the expectations communicated with them. Sometimes there's a fear that they don't have the internet access at home or after school activities will prevent them from participating in the flipped lesson. And this may be the case for the first couple of times. Two things to consider. Was this the right content to flip? And did I give them enough time and set expectations for the students to engage with the content? Thanks for watching. Please comment below with any suggestions or requests for future fast track videos.